Okay, so we haven't done like a series or anything here in the channel in a while. I just, I've been kind of busy, but we're back. We've got an idea. The NBA 2K24 expansion team, dynasty franchise, whatever they call it, my NBA. It doesn't matter. So I'm doing this with a couple of my friends, doing it with Austin Kingston TV, and we've got Derek, who's button match. He's gonna be the Supersonics. Austin's gonna be the Louisville Liberty, and I will be the Omaha Airmen. Now, I don't know how I got stuck. With, actually, no, I do know how I got stuck on Omaha. It was just kind of the goofiest team I could pick. So it's an expansion draft. Now, 2K is horrible this year with their expansion draft. They give you protected players or who should be protected, and we set it to eight protected players per team and they only gave us two so basically this pool as the expansion draft is crazy nobody's the vancouver ravens that is a cpu team so my first round pick darius garland was on the board so i took darius garland like that's the type of guys that you can get now the way we're going to play this we're not going to go in and play 82 games by the way bradley beal is out there because of course the suns would only go out and protect kevin durant and devin booker so we get bradley beal on our team um we're not going to play all 82 games because that's not that's not smart um we only set to a 34 game season and i'm only going to play the two user games in the regular season and then for the playoffs we're being honest we're not we don't want to go out there and play cpu games we are just going to force win ourselves until we get into matchups with our other you know teams um our other user teams so i'm in the eastern conference with um the Louisville Liberty and the Seattle Supersonics are going to be in the Western Conference. My third round pick, I doubled up on shooting guards. I took Austin Reeves, probably not the smartest pick, but I took him. Fourth round pick, Miles Turner, love the guy. Uh, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. Turner is going to be our center on our team. And here's our whole squad. Didn't want to make you sit through the draft. We're going to go Garris Garland at the one. We're going to have Bradley Beal at the two. If I can go and switch to the rotation here. There you go. Bogdanovich at the three, Aaron Gordon at the four, Miles Turner. I got stuck with Chris Paul as a joke. Austin Reeves, Jeremy Grant. Uh, I took Russell Westbrook. We took Anyeka Onkongu, uh, Kelly Oubre Jr., Duncan Robinson. I don't know really who I'm going to run when the games actually happen, but this is kind of what the team that we have. Uh, AJ Griffin. And then I took Ben Simmons as a joke because, again, why not have Ben Simmons just be the reserve on this team? So let's get straight into our first game. Again, only playing the two first regular season games in this video. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more here on the channel. Um, yeah, we're going to make the playoffs. But these are just kind of test run games. So we're taking on Austin Kingston TV here and the Louisville Liberty. Um, don't know what to expect. But again, we have a pretty solid team. Got Darius Garland at the one. You got Miles Turner as the center. He's got Lonzo Ball as his starting point guard. We're going to kick it to the corner to Bogdan Bogdanovich. And he's going to brick one. Um, again, with the squad you've got probably our best player is Bradley Beal I took Darius Garland in the first round because I just didn't really expect him to be there but then again realized Bradley Beal is going to be on the squad as well the cap situation there really isn't such a thing I think everyone's on a four-year deal I do believe or at least that that's just a Madden thing but Darius Garland right there Garland's going to drive for the hoop and he will score so it's going to be now a four to two game we are behind but running through Darius Garland kicking the corner to Bradley Beal and Beal is going to hit it's a full white but we'll take it. Beal's gonna hit the shot. We're up five to four. Back on defense, seven six game. Alonzo looking to drive and run the pick and roll with John Collins. That alley oop though is off the mark. Bogdanovich gonna kick it up court to Bradley Beal. Beal in the corner to Darius Garland. Bang! Green in the corner for Darius Garland. Puts us up now 10 to six here at home in Omaha, Nebraska. Score now 11 to nine. Alonzo in the pick and roll. Gonna look inside. That's kind of a nightmare matchup for us. I think Lonzo, you know, if healthy, of course. Um, is you know should be able to dominate our point guards in both Garland and Chris Paul and again we're going to see this Louisville team a lot considering they are in the Eastern Conference as right there DeAndre Aiden going to slam that one home making it a 13 to 11 game we're going to see them more than Seattle because of course we're going to get to the NBA Finals we have to run through Louisville and again we're doing this we made the format this way just so we can get through multiple seasons and we're not stuck playing again the Utah Jazz CPU game you know just randomly right Austin Reeves right there going to drive and make that shot 17 to 15 is our score four minute quarters this games these games go by pretty quickly Chris Paul gonna dump it off inside to Jeremy Grant 19 to 15 now our score back up by two Lonzo Ball in the pick and roll going again for the alley with John Collins again though to no avail kicking it back up court Austin Reeves spot up for three bang Austin Reeves goes up 22 to 17 now for Omaha as Louisville get the ball back Lonzo here with five seconds to go gonna feed it inside to DeAndre Aiden and the former first overall pick is gonna slam that one home we're gonna kick it up court though Duncan Robinson no contest by Michael Porter Jr. 
and Robinson gonna hit the three at 25 to 19 hour score. Lonzo gonna try to do the same exact thing, but look at Chris Paul looking up to Shaquille O'Neal as a member of the Boston Celtics. This is CP3 on Omaha, that's the equivalent. Anyways, we're up by six now going into the third quarter. Darius Garland's got it at the top of the key and he is going to hit. Garland gonna make this, oh, okay, that's only two, but still 29 to 21 game. And eight points in a game like this is a lot, even though it's back down to four here. Austin Reeves inside having his way with that matchup with MPJ 33 to 27 our score 20 seconds go here in this third quarter again we're gonna have the game because the supersonics up next MPJ in the corner it's a two but he hits 33 to 29 three minutes to go now in this ball game we're in the fourth quarter Chris Paul gonna drive inside give it to Jeremy Grant kick out to Austin Reeves Reeves trying to make that extra pass to Darius Garland back out to Reeves 4-3 bang AR 15 gonna make this one now a seven point lead for Omaha over the Liberty here comes John Collins on the inbound at two Lonzo Ball. Darius Garland, what are you doing? Again, defensive liability are our point guards. I know we have Russell Westbrook as a third point guard, but are we going to play Russ? Probably not. So going to have to worry about that matchup with Lonzo Ball and Garland and Chris Paul. Here it comes. DeAndre Aiden working in the post. He's going to kick out to Lonzo Ball. It's off the hands of Lonzo. And here comes Bradley Beal, who only has three points from that first three-pointer of the game. Now he will have five with 90 seconds to go. Omaha goes up by six points. Lonzo Ball going to try to bring it back up court. Ball going to kick to the corner there's John Collins foot is on the line that is a two though 40 to 36 is now the score with a minute and 23 seconds left to play so here comes Darius Garland going to try to throw the lob to Aaron Gordon that's not going to work out though so here comes Louisville with another opportunity Alonzo going to work it up court to Andrew Wiggins Wiggins back inside to Tyrese Maxey Maxey going to hit the layup 40 to 38 now the score minute left to go Darius Garland taking it back up court Garland going to look inside kick out to Bradley Beal for three Three. Oh my goodness, that's a bad shot on my end, but it is going to hit. Beal now with eight in the game. Louisville, though, is going to respond, making a three-point game. So Garland, it goes for the lob to Aaron Gordon. That's not going to connect. 20 seconds to go. Smart move here is the foul. I mean, okay, Wiggins is just going to do the job for us. 43-42, 20 seconds to go. Omaha back with the basketball. Bradley Beal gets fouled. 20 seconds to go. One more foul to give for the Liberty. So here comes the inbound once more. Jeremy Grant, we're assuming, is just going to get it off to Bradley Beal. And for some reason, I don't know why I did this. I, that was just straight up stupid. I, I tried to go for the two. I don't know why. Thankfully, it's not going to bite us in the ass because that one is going to be deflected off of John Collins and go straight to Bradley Beal. That's what I was trying to do the first time. However, Louisville still the shot. 10 seconds to go. 45-42 is the score. Michael Porter Jr. on top of the key gets a look. Oh, he misses it. MPJ going to miss the go-ahead three or the tying three. Miles Turner now to the line, only needs to make one to basically put this game away. Turner, don't know his free throw, misses the first one. Keeping Louisville in the game for now. Miles Turner going to take the second, and oh my goodness. Again, these games lag a lot on both of our ends, so that's just something. Here we go for the game, though. Louisville, Tyrese Maxey gets a look, but it is going to miss. We are going to win our first user game 45 to 42. Omaha wins the first matchup between themselves and Louisville. So we are 1-0 to start the season. We will next go on to the Pacific Northwest at the Key Arena or the Climate Pledge Arena, whatever you want to call it, though. We will be going to Seattle to take on the newly formed Seattle Supersonics. So here you go, Omaha now going on the road to take on Seattle, like we mentioned before. Um, this team is interesting. This is Derek's squad. He's got Chet on his team. He's got um, he's got some bigs that are pretty solid. He's got Tyler Hero as well. Jordan Poole is his main scorer. But right away, Darius Garland, I mean, okay, we'll take that all day long. Garland can make this a 2-0 game just like that. So Seattle with it, and that Wendell Carter Jr. pass is going to be intercepted right away. We're going to keep it going up court. Bradley Beal going to back up. Maybe look for a three now. Try to drive in. Beal with the lay-in. It's going to be a 9-6 game as we close basically here the first quarter. Again, these games go by fast. Another turnover by Seattle. We're going to look up by five miles turner looking to bogdanovich for a three bang the airmen go up 14 to six now on to the second quarter it is a you know one-sided beat down right now 21 to 12 jeremy grant in the corner i believe they're gonna call that a two no that's a three wow we have doubled seattle's point total 24 to 12 is now 24 to 16 but look at the supersonics there goes colin sexton with the slam 24 to 18 our score here comes cp3 chris paul trying to bring it up court here comes the screen by jeremy grant i mean we're not really gonna need it chris paul goes up with the left and cp3 makes it a 26 to 18 game two seconds go here in the second quarter the lag is killer 
forward, but that is going to be off. So yeah, we go into the second half of 26 to 18, the spot where we want to be at, we're looking pretty good. Darius Garland, 9, 1, and 2. Chet Holmgrom is going to be the leading scorer, or leading performer, I guess, for Seattle on the other side. Two minutes to go in the third quarter, up by seven. Liking what we're seeing. Garland, again, having a pretty good night. He's going to look. Corner's wide open. It is Miles Turner. We will still try it, though. Turner hits. It's another white, but still take an eight-point game in favor of Omaha. But Seattle, again, has closed the gap, made it a four-point game. I believe that's R.J. Barrett. Again, the lag is really bad, but Barrett is going to go out there through the contact. And now Seattle, don't look now, but has a chance to tie this game up going into the fourth quarter. Here comes the post work by Bull Bull. And Bull Bull is going to get in there. 31-31 is the score with seven seconds to go. Omaha has completely folded their lead as Bogdanovich going to miss the corner three. And again, Seattle has made this a 30 one at 231 game not ideal not the spot you want to be at we have choked we really have not scored the basketball that much but again let's go now to the fourth quarter and try to put this game away so three minutes and 30 seconds to go here comes the feed inside and that one is good we've officially lost lead it thanks to that cool anthony layup two minutes and 30 seconds to go again the lag is killing me on this side miles turner is going to miss again we just haven't been able to put anything through Another slam call and Sexton gets up there. The airmen have gone ice cold. 2.20 left to go in a four point game. Darius Garland drives, could have kicked corner to Bogdanovich. Instead, he gets swatted on the other side of the continent. Holgram gets it. He's going to kick it up court to Colin Sexton. Sexton is going to get blocked, but again, Seattle will retain possession of the basketball. Two minutes to go. That one's off the, I believe, the arm of Miles Turner. We're going to get it back. Garland going to try to drive in. Might not be the best idea. Yep, Chet is going to block him. Two minutes to go. Sexton drives. That one is going to be finished. It's a six-point game. We're kind of cooked. I mean, you need something here, Darius Garland. We have not scored since midway through the third quarter. It will continue for now. Bogdanovich gonna take a three, trying to get us back in the game. It's off, Chet with the board. I think, it, I think we're cooked. Yeah, and we're lagging really bad too. Jordan Poole is probably gonna dribble this one out, of course. I mean, if we're still on a minute 30 left, he's gonna miss. Okay, here's our last shot to really get back in this game. Bradley Beal can look for the two, can look for the three here. Miles Turner, I don't know what he's going to do against Bull Bull because Bull Bull and Chet have been unstoppable in this game. My point exactly. Bradley Beal gets denied. The oop is off, though, so I guess we're going to have another chance. Nope, Colin Sexton is going to recover. Sexton kicks it to RJ Barrett. Barrett on the perimeter gets the screen from Chet Holgram. Holgram going to drive, and he's going to go to the line. That's honestly about it. I think we scored one more time before the end of the game, so we did get it on the board in the fourth quarter, but an absolute embarrassment down the stretch in that one. However, again, one and one in the first couple users of this series. We'll be back in the next one for the Eastern Conference playoffs, where, of course, we will be taking on the Louisville Liberty. So, folks, thank you for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. If you like, if you did enjoy the start of the new series, thank you for watching, and Mamba forever.